validating and empowering indeed. We're going to continue in that trend because Saturday saw the launch of 16 days of activism and in light of this, Western Cape Minister of Health, Dr. Noma French and Bombo will be leading a safety walk today through the Shabins and streets of Kailicha to highlight the work that the government is doing to reduce alcohol consumption and stop alcohol induced violence in the community. So she's joining us this morning to share more of the details. Dr. Bombo, so good to have you on the show this morning. Oh, good morning. Good so morning. Saturday we launched the 16 days of mm -hmm. activism and there have been so many amazing initiatives since that day. It's been wonderful to see. But do you want to tell us more about the event that's happening in Kailicha today? Uh, today is we are walking the streets together with the SAP, South African Police, with the community, with the interfaith, and everybody can join us. Okay. Uh, it's a safety spaces initiative mm -hmm. where Western Cape government has created more safety pathways. Okay. Uh, because we do know that violence not only happens at home, mm -hmm. uh, but also happens in the public spaces. Because mostly if you hear where women have been raped, where women have been murdered is happening on the streets. Yeah. So as part of the alcohol harms reduction game changer, where it's uh, together with the Department of the Premier, Department of Health, uh, Department of Safety, Department of Social Development, Department of Cultural Sports, and, Af and also with the City of Cape Town and all relevant stakeholders, Western Cape Liquor Board, uh, we identified the issue of um, shebeens, especially yeah. we do know that, especially with those that are uh, unlicensed, mm -hmm. where there's a, a lot of underage drinking, yeah. and also they operate throughout the night. It's usually during those early mornings uh, where you'll find that people now are going back home, and then they get marked, and then they get sexually molested. Yeah. So we have identified these um, kind of interventions. We have put in about eight cameras, additional to the ones that the c um, city has. And also these are um, monitored in the city space. And also we have got additional 12 law enforcement wow. officers where they can walk the streets. Mm. Uh, we have got neighborhood watches who are also there. And also we have got various um, other stakeholders that participate. That's wonderful. I, I love the fact that Chabines are getting involved yes. as well um, and that there's more of a, a presence now in those areas where these problems seems to be you know, becoming a, a massive you know, scourge mm -hmm. on society. But what else is government doing to try and reduce you know, kind of the, 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 the situation with regards to violence against women in these communities? Mm -hmm. Um, you see, with, with the issue of alcohol, we do know that the interpersonal violence, especially yeah. the conduct crime, and normally is being perpetrated when people are drunk, mm -hmm. and we have even conducted the surveys and the research around that. Yeah. We do know that um, most of the crime happens at the time in the spaces of the night or early hours of the morning. Yeah. Um, we do know that um, in, in most instances, we'll find that um, uh, the, it's, it's done by the people who are known by the victims yeah. themselves. So so that's why for us it's about we have to close the tap elsewhere yeah. instead of keeping on mopping the floors. Yeah. Uh, so we are focusing on the major causes in terms of focusing too much on the symptoms. Yeah. Because it's no use of keep on telling the women how to behave, mm. yet we find that it's the environment that is surrounding them. Yeah. Because we do know the drivers, for example, that when a women are getting education, they are getting skills, mm. and they are getting social support, and then they are getting jobs. At least you know that that provides empowerment to the women. But even then, you'll find that they're still going to get sexually abused, they're mm -hmm. going to get um, exposures to the physical violence yeah. and all of those. Yeah. So now we're saying that now it should, it should not only be resting now on the responsibility of women themselves, yeah. but it's everybody's business, hence the slogan, Absolutely. count me in. Yes. So no one should be left behind. We should yeah. be able to assist the women by creating these safe spaces, which we're doing in the Kailicha, the town mm -hmm. too, because the walk will be for starting from town to um, hall and then also going to the side C. Yeah. We have got these initiatives also, we've started them in Pal East, um, the area around Chicago. We're also going to do, actually we're already doing it in the Gugule to the Nyanga area and probably will also go to the Saldana area as well. Oh, I love that you are so busy doing incredible work. And I always mm -hmm. believe that 16 days should not just be 16 exactly. days. It should be every day, but this is a start. And yes. I am so happy with what government is doing. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Mombo, you. for being here with us. So Thank that you. safety walk is happening in Kailicha today. If you are in and around that area, please do take part.